All right, number two of the three microscopes that I decided to invest in. Figured get a little beginner set for starters. I think that'd be kind of fun. I can share that with others. Probably wind up being passed around if not given as a gift. This one I'll probably keep for now. Um, this is probably going to be of the two. Well, we'll see. Hopefully I don't get too carried away because I can already see this turning into like I've always wanted an FTIR microscope with spectrometer and an electron microscope with holy wow is it <laughs> go into a, oh whoa a lot of a lot of a lot of very a lot of variety to choose from anyways um anyways this is uh optical um excuse me they say infinite optical design so the 10x um, wide focus eyepiece um and the three particular i wanted you can see the 83 the 10 and the focus, I guess I'm not really focused on that. And the um, 100, mainly I wanted the 100. This is a made in the USA rescue, so pretty awesome. That's that's really cool to find. The other one's a Japanese, which is just, it's great too, so no big deal. Let's see the 43, and then you can see those are infinite. Let's see if that gets. Aperture, I think. There's this one. 0.55. Yeah, so uh, this is a neat little design. This is a uh, American Optical 160. I think I, I called it a 61 <laughs> earlier. I still need to look at uh, what all um, needs to be done. I probably will have to do a little work on this, um, but we'll, we'll see uh, as I go along. Um, Definitely looks like it's a little dusty. So a really good find, and I'm glad I was able to rescue. Looks like you can got you can find these online for like around sixty dollars or more ships. So I don't know what all objective lenses they come with. I assume they're all an infinite design. But yeah, the other one's a binocular microscope made in Japan, and that's going to be a 160 design. That's more common, uh, which is going to be the focal. Uh, focal point, I believe, with the whole tube. Um, the focal point's at 160 um, millimeters. I think that's right. Uh, 170, I guess, is, is somewhat lesser common, but common. Um, and then the 160, from my understanding, I can use a, it's a short um, objective lenses from Olympia, Olympus, Olympus, and Nikon. And um, that's a uh, Kyle, I believe. So, yeah, can't wait to get that one. That'll be neat, too. Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay. Figured I'd share this thing. It's kind of neat. Sort of excited. So, I'll be able to test out, uh, uh, take a look at it, at least, and review uh, the L Rotori and the Nato and see what all's present. I kind of want to look into my eye drops and, I don't know, I don't want to get too carried away with body fluids, but... You know, there's there's some things, and then also I think it'd be interesting for uh, plant kind of pathology to study uh, when I do see infections, be able to more uh, maybe get a little more detail, not only positively identify from a visual inspection, but also see what else could be present. Be interesting to look at some of the bugs too, uh, what they look like under the microscope. So uh, there's a whole other world of staining, uh, lighting. I know in my previous optical measurement experience. Um, optical uh, gauging products, OGP, the um, coordinate measuring systems. Similar to the stereo microscope, I don't really know how this will work with the microscopes as much. This design, but having a ring light, I still need to work on that directional lighting, um, ring light design homebrew for one of the stereo microscopes. Um, and then this, I was kind of wondering about polarization. Little simple things, maybe or maybe not. I still have to study uh, more and literally look into what those specific requirements are so okay well anyways <laughs> everyone be safe stay healthy until next time kind regards